Once upon a springtime, in an overgrown garden, lived a busy little tortoise, whose name was Norton. Norton was once a VIP, which long ago stood for very important pet and member of a family. But when his owners moved house, it slipped their mind that they'd left their tortoise behind. Norton had found himself all alone, with just his shell to his name. He knew trying to look for them would be simply hopeless for a slow-moving tortoise with no forwarding address. He sometimes felt sad, but not for too long, as he kept himself busy to try and stay strong. His morning routine was quite similar to ours, as he cleaned his teeth and then took a shower. He bathed in a puddle of icy cold rain. It was freezing, but he braced himself and didn't complain. <laughs> he did lots of exercise to keep fit and supple whilst thinking about a breakfast of lettuce and honeysuckle. Hmm. Hmm. He then worked on polishing and cleaning his shell. He liked it to sparkle, so he oiled it as well. Before lunchtime, he walked around slowly the garden, a safe little place where he felt so well. One morning, when Norton's puddle was frozen, he knew it meant summer season was officially closing. So, again, he took to his warm little shell to hibernate in his mini winter hotel. He woke one spring morning feeling rested and new. He sat for a moment to think about what to do. The flicker of a butterfly's wing captured his gaze. He got up and followed it through the warm spring haze.
The butterfly's gentle meandering gait meant Norton could follow without needing to accelerate. He paused for a moment at the end of his garden, but decided to follow what was the worst that could happen. He left behind his garden, left behind his shell, to be faster and felt about it some new and well. Into the woods, our intrepid adventurer stepped, as he thought this butterfly was truly perfect. But then in a moment, it was suddenly gone, and Norton found himself in the woods all alone. Just then, two baby rabbits, playing a game of chase, came tearing past at a speedy pace. They bumped into Norton. Oh no, are you all right? said the two bunnies to Norton. We didn't mean to knock you over. We weren't looking where we were going. Hmm? We'd like to say sorry. Perhaps you'd like to come over to our warren for a lunch of honeysuckle and clover. It's not far at all, and we'd love you to stay. Soon, they arrived at the rabbit's burrow, a warren in the corner of an overgrown meadow. They sit down together for a ginormous feast of clover, dandelion and lettuce leaves. Norton had never known such a warm and friendly place, full of laughter and love, a deeply happy space. He felt sad that this wasn't his home, although Norton really wished he could stay. After the lunch, he went on his way. Into the woods trotted Norton once more. He thought he could knew his way, but then suddenly unsure. Just then, he heard a sad snuffling sound, coming from a small hole in the ground. Norton peered in to see a baby badger, who'd fallen in and was trying, unsuccessfully, to climb out. The little badger called to Norton, Please help me, I'm trapped. So Norton leaned in and helped him out. You found our little boy. Oh, thank you. How kind, said the badger's grateful parents, who appeared from behind. How can we convey our immense gratitude? Please come and be our guest for a tea. He then meets a vixen and her cubs, who live in a very grand lair, and they invite him in for supper. They laughed, they joked, then they shared their dinner. Yet another fine feast, Norton was on to a winner. Once again he felt warm and safe in this home, but knew that he mustn't stay too long. Back into the woods his search would resume, to go back to his garden with flowers abloom. 
He loved all the new places he'd visited so far, but now he was by himself, he felt a hole in his heart. He realizes that the bedtime arrived. Luckily, he sees a squirrel on a tree who invites him sleeping in his dray. He stays the night in the dray. He has breakfast in a bird's nest, talking about his adventures with his new friends. Norton sadly looked around. All of you have your own home. Why am I the only one who's all alone? After the breakfast, he realizes the time has come for him to go home. Norton now realized why he felt so blue. He needed to move house. That's what he would do. He wanted to belong somewhere and wouldn't be alone. This little lonely tortoise was a very sad sight. Suddenly above appeared a spider spinning a web of sparkling thin fiber. The spider watched Norton fighting with himself and so settled beside him to see if she could help. Are you all right? said the concerned spider. So Norton told her about his adventures and how he felt like an outsider. Just then, two weasels came tearing past, straight through the spider's web that took so long to craft. Oh my web, that took me all day. I'll have to start again, she said in dismay. I don't think you realize how lucky you are. Your shell is strong, you can take it anywhere. I have to rebuild my web all the time because my spider silk is really fine. Do you want a new home too? said Norton transfixed. Of course not, said the spider sounding perplexed. Eternally spinning a web so thin is actually my idea of fun. It makes me happy. It provides me with food. Spinning my web lifts my mood. I have an idea to help your shell prevail. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, the snail. Did you say my name, my dear? Proclaimed a snail, who from under some leaves appeared. Why, snail, allow me to introduce. The spider paused. Norton's my name, said the trembling tortoise. Oh dear, what's the matter? You look so solemn. I'm so happy to meet you. I think we have much in common. Norton wants to leave his shell forever, the spider explained, so he can find a home like the rabbit's cosy warren. The smiling snail said, if I had no shell, I'd feel inferior. I'd be naked without this weatherproof exterior. Hmm? Hmm? But don't worry, said the snail. It's not your shell that's to blame. I remember once feeling exactly the same. You did, sniffed Norton, wiping a tear. You seem so happy, content, and completely without fear. The snail then declared, Norton, you don't need a new home. The problem you have is you're feeling alone. It wasn't that long ago mm. I felt sad and abandoned. That's when I met my dear companion. With that, another snail appeared. Allow me to introduce Claude, my dear. All you need is some good company, some friends around you, or your own family. Your shell keeps you safe, 
and it's part of you. The good news is you can keep it and feel happy too. Norton dried his eyes. That makes complete sense. I've really enjoyed meeting all these new friends. That includes us, and we're having a party tomorrow. Please be our guest of honour, said the spider with gusto. I'd love to come, said Norton, delighted. And with that, off he went, feeling happy and excited. And back in his garden was a brand new surprise. Some new owners and their little pet tortoise had arrived. Hello, smiled the tortoise. My name is Marcy. Lovely to meet you, beamed Norton. Would you like to come to a party? I could be a turtle. 